All right, so Cloudflare came out with, uh, Carmen wrote about uh, Cloudflare's new uh, uh, WebAssembly capability in their, in their pages. So pages are basically like, um, they're uh, just like Netlify or Vercel, except they have um, work, basically Cloudflare, Cloudflare workers are like serverless functions without websites, but pages are the static website backed by functions. They have functions embedded in. So if you use pages, then you get workers and the hosting together. So that's so because the workers have supported WebAssembly for a while, now the um, pages functions do too. And the way it works is basically, um, basically you are Instanti you're you're importing and then instantiating it just like a you would in, you would new up a an object of a class you instantiate instantiate an object from a class well you do the exact same thing with a wasm module and uh, you write it in whatever language that export that exp, uh, compiles to wasm and then instantiate it with this magic call here and then uh, call the function from JavaScript so. It, it exports a JavaScript API. And then um, this is what the app looks like. It takes some, it, it actually doesn't take a long time, but they just, okay. So this is where I'm at and uh, docs, all right. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's take a look at this code. <clears throat> and um, just kind of take a, take a look. We could get it running here, but um, let me get rid of this. I'm going to blow this. Um, so CD pages, RM app, Rust, PKG. All right. So you got to have Rust, uh, uh, it's called a Wasm pack, Wasm pack. So it's, it's for making like NPM packages with rust so have that installed in node and then we'll just go into the um so let's just take a look at, at like how this this works here okay first of all okay first of all we have the actual the the the, the function which is going to do this calculation the word that's going to do all the work it's it's in here okay and so the um lib is the kind of conventional name for rust so this is the library file and you can see this bind gen means it's going to be called from JavaScript and it's exported. So it's a Rust exported to JavaScript. So that's what bind gen is, is for. So you have this function, which basically takes the latitude to longitude uh, from and to and returns the distance as a float, 64. So it does this calculation. Okay, so that's, that's your function. And then, so what you do is you get in here and you... Um, you, uh, you you build a function. Before I do that, let's just take a look at the rest of the app. Um, uh, okay, so that's that's the that's the function, and here here is the the consuming web that's going to call it the the app that's going to call it. Okay, um, and before I even show you the actual app, let's go into the let's go into the function. The function uh, is going to pull in that module, um, and it's going to um, Okay, we have a get. We have we have two functions. We have a get and a we have a get and a. Uh, when you first visit the site, it's going to get your your coordinates, your location from the web. You know, the web can get your Latin long, and then once it has that, it's going to make a post request to the uh, to the Wasm code to uh, figure out the distance between your Latin long and whatever they're calculating. I don't know the nearest Cloudflare, I guess. Okay, and. Um, so that's 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 the that's the two functions. So so session coordinate is like get get you know get your la get your Latin long from from the you know from the web request, and then the distance between post post to this distance between. So what it does is it imports that um, that module, instantiates it here, and then call and then um, and then. Uh, you instantiate it and then get that distance between uh, function off of that module, 
right? Now you have the function and then you uh, pass the, the coordinates. So from lat and long to lat and long and then return that as return that in in the um, pages workers or pages functions response. Okay, so the 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 uh, the website basically loads up some SVGs and uh, calls a script. So the script uh, index TS. Let's just jump to that because we have you know VS Code is very nice. Uh, what that does is <clears throat> on DOM content loaded, it's going to call the do do stuff. So that's all in here. It's one single sim simple function and uh, basically gets your lat and long from the, uh, well, first of all, it imports, it imports the, two, the, the two functions, HTTP service coordinates, HTTP service distance, so get on coordinates and distance between, that's here, boom, boom, session coordinates, distance between. Um, uh, HTTP service distance, yeah, so source HTTP service distance, Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. There uh, was a, uh, a step in between that I forgot to do. Okay. So there's actually a, there's an intermediate step. So this, so this, um, the script code on the script code attached to the front, the HTML page is calling a HTTP service uh, function. Okay. This HTTP service function is then um, calling um, or or is then um, making making a fetch request. So now your HTML page is making a fetch request to the uh, the the uh, pages function, the API, right? So you so it it doesn't just like these these functions don't live on your web page, right? They live on on Netlify's server. Uh, they live on Netlify's server back there. So this, so this function get distance between is making that fetch request to to here to the functions. Okay, so make the request and then you got your you got your fetch uh, get and post. This is the post. So distance is the post request. Uh, get is uh, coordinates is the get request. So this one coordinates maps to session and distance maps to distance all right boom boom all right so that's that's that so you um do the stuff you um make these requests first of all you know get handles to all your elements on the page and then um and then get your own coordinates make that get request set the latin long and then um <clears throat> this is this set timeout is just to Kind of load an animation first of all it well it's gonna load it it could get it right away but because it's so fast but it wants to gives you two seconds to wait but anyways everything is going to be happening in here so um it does a bunch of 3js stuff and then um it calls this get dis distance between function with the latin long that it got from the get the initial get request okay and then does some this this all this is standard stuff for like globe on globe emit da 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 whatever blah blah blah. That's just that's going to be specific to globe.gl, which is a npm package that does all this stuff. Okay, so that's just standard stuff. Whatever. Um, the the fun part is is the the Rust the the fun part is the the bind gen to here. Okay, the wasm bind gen. That's the real item. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's. Um, there's something. Uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to show. Actually, you know what we'll do is. So that that's that's the structure of it. That's the structure. Okay, but before we. So we so we know everything. Everything we need to know about the the web and the functions. We know. Okay, we got everything. Um, now let's take a look. At what's going to happen here? First of all, I want to get rid of this appage. Uh, package. So let's say just say we're uh, RM PKG. Let's blow that away because we're going to. Uh... Oh, oh, okay. See, RM RF PKG. 
All right, all right. So <clears throat> what we want to do here is what we want to do here is um, we want to um, we want to do this the wasm pack. What wasm pack does is basically compiles uh, the uh, we want to call wasm pack build. Okay, so that what's it going to do is like it's like it's basically like a cargo build target wasm, but it combines everything you need into one little nice little uh, package. Um, I believe I believe once we're in here, we can just do that. Yeah. We got everything we need. Okay, so let's take a look at what it builds. Um, here's the the binary. You're not going to be able to see anything in there, but we can take a look at this and that. All right, so this is going to say, okay, export. So it, it creates the module global wasm, and it basically exports a function that takes a value and uses that value uh to set the wasm to its w internal wasm uh, variable okay this is some dependency injection magic okay so what's going to end up happening is we're going to import that rust binary the ru the the wasm the the rust wasm we're going to import rust wasm here and then set our javascript module variable named wasm equal to the the rust uh wasm module that was passed in okay and then we're going to call its function we expect it to have a certain uh method just like it implements an interface and you, you inject the dependency and the uh, calling code here the orchestrator um the excuse me the choreographer right the task manager uh the calling code the call site it will it, it expects a certain you know interface a uh, uh, object of a certain interface and it will it will then call that uh, uh, the the method on that so it's going to expect it's going to expect um, a, a a a wasm file with this distance between function right so you pass in that wasm file it sets its own internal wasm uh, variable equal to whatever you passed in right that, that that binary and then it says okay now i've got you right now i'm going to call your distance between function with the lat the latin long passed in front to and from okay so boom that's pure dependency injection okay all right so that's the that's the kind of uh this is the 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 choreographer right the 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 code that's going to handle the dependency injection. This provide this essentially provides a JavaScript API for the Wasm, and particularly the Rust uh, binary uh, Wasm binary code. Okay, this this provides your interop. It's dependency injection. That's just pure dependency injection. And then this source is going to import that and export it. Okay, it, it import what it needs. Okay, this is excuse me. This source wasm is going to import the um, import that uh, that that choreographer. Excuse me. This is the choreographer. This is the Rust binary wasm. It's going to import both of those. Pass the the Rust binary wasm to the choreographer, and then export the result of that here. Um, star from source wasm bg yes yeah okay all right so yeah so it's basically importing importing the rust binary the uh the wasm binary and the javascript api to take that and and call its functions it okay so basically this is this is this is the call this is the this is the call site okay source wasm will be called yeah so, okay. Okay. This is this is a novel technique. I've I've not actually seen this technique before, but basically 
it's um, it's expo- it's importing both. Pa- it's 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 importing it's importing the the function that takes the wasm. It's importing the wasm binary. It's passing the binary to the function, which is basically calling it, and then exporting all from that function to which it passed the wasm. So somehow it looks like when you uh, when you export this after you do that, it sounds like you're getting both. And uh, I have not seen this this uh, before. This is novel to me. But anyway, that's what's happening there. Okay. And uh, so let's see if we can just kind of, this is further than I've actually looked before. So let's see if we can find source wasm.js. Uh-oh. It's not even here. What the hell? Distance between. Um, so obviously it's exporting itself and in distance between, um, well, it would be there obviously, but okay. All right. So distance between, anyways, I think you get the point. Uh, the distance between function is, is, um, Instantiated from the Wasm module. The Wasm module is the uh, this uh, in the Rust package source Wasm bg .wasm. Okay, more or less. Um, so okay, so we so we created that, and then um, and then what else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? Oh, just yarn yarn this bad boy. Okay, uh, Node v yarn uh, yarn probably. Okay, we have to build app Rust. App Rust build, huh? Oh, that's crazy. I've not seen. Okay, okay. So let's see. Build app Rust. CD app Rust and Wasm pack build. Oh, okay, we already did that. And then yarn dev. Yarn dev is probably. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's not like a V, uh, no, it's node mod, okay. So it's, it's not like a, it's not a React app. It's just, it just, we, we looked at it. We know what it is. Okay, before, let's, okay, let's start a Cloudflare tunnel. Do 8788. Okay, we're going to copy this in the clipboard and jump there. Oh no, copy in the clipboard. And here we go. Here we are. Um, let's see if we can just um, play with this just for a sec. Do app web source index and like, can we uh, say something like maybe at the bottom of the page here? We can just kind of say um, uh, yes, hello, this is dog. Do I have to redo everything? Yes, hello, this is dog. There we go. We did it. 